năm 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 bảy đến năm năm when i have understanding of computers i shall be the supreme being god isn't interested in technology he knows nothing of the potential of the microchip or the silicon revolution look how he spends his time 43 species of parrots nipples for men <laughs> don't do that jesus christ you're going to get me killed out of here oh billy <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Welcome, everybody, to AM Bite. Welcome yeah. to the desert of the real in a world where men still have nipples. But we are still trying to figure this out one yeah, show yeah. at a time. My name is Miguel Connor, and I am your pompous of gnosis. I'm the magic man, and so are you. You are full of magic and wonder and incredible abilities, and that's why you come here, to wake up, take those red pill, blue, blue pill, white pill, black pill, milkshakes all together so you can wake up. For those of you who are listening in audio, I usually have an introduction, but I'm just jumping right in this time because so much going on between live shows, uh, regular shows, shorts, other stuff that I've got going on, including uh, the last touches of the Elvis book. So uh, we are just going to get started. So great to see everybody here tonight. I see people already filing in in the chat room, the Chatico. And as we discovered, uh, I think somebody stole Vance's idea, right, Vance? Because somebody created an app yeah. called Chatico. A message yeah, well, app. Should have patented while I have the chance. While you had a <laughs> chance. The Watico got your Chatico idea. What is this world coming to? No surprising. But, uh, yeah, always good to have with us someone who's always full of red pills and insights and yeah. looking at the man behind the curtain, and that is Ian from Pop Music Decoded. Ian, how Hi. are you? How are you guys? Thanks a lot for having me. Pleasure is always ours. Always enjoy your shows, and the last two have been very popular and gotten very positive uh, receptions. Even oh, the uh, when I go outside and the FBI van is out there, the FBI guy's like, "Good show, <laughs> good show with Ian." So, oh, yeah. even yeah, even the FBI and the CIA have approved of your work. So. Okay, okay, great. Got lots of time to listen, don't they? In there at van. <laughs> <laughs> and vans, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, we'll have a little bit of musical night verbally, at least. I'm always up for esoteric things, and uh, I'm dying to know if Paul's really dead. Yeah, that's uh, a big question. Yeah. I have awesome. an answer. The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> he that was die. fast. Uh, he didn't We're die. Yeah. talk about that a bit. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, for everybody going in the chat room, as always, Ian has a expansive presentation for us that will include video. If you have questions in the Chatico, please uh, super chat them so we can find out where you are and get to you uh, or comments or anything else you want to share in uh, cyberspace. Other than that, not much uh, housekeeping. We got a show this Saturday with a group chat on Gnosticism, Dispelling Misconception. It's going to be a four or five of us, so it's going to be very cool. Please mm -hmm. don't miss that. And, uh, yeah, things are going well. Things are definitely going well in these dog days of summer. So I think we should hit the ground running. Ian, do you want to say anything before we start the presentation? Uh, no. Um, I want to... Um... Well, we're going to do a lot of uh, lyrics analysis tonight, so uh, I hope you're up for that. It's a bit tedious, but uh, hopefully we'll get at some truth with that. Get your karaoke machine out, right? Yeah. Well, then why don't we get started? Let's hit yeah, the sure. running. I'll we'll yeah. get the slide up, and you tell me which way to go, when to change, okay. what video to put on, and uh, yeah, I will... Uh, We'll make sure that everything gets seen. So why don't we do this? Yeah, stream? so tonight I wanted to explore the Billy concept uh, on my website. Uh, I explained that Billy is a 
kind of a cold word for uh, something. We will see what it is. But first, the Beatles uh, have uh, an important bit issue. We, we can explain what's, what's about that. So this first is just to put us into a situation with the Beatles. Here you got Lennon on the cover of uh, Yellow Submarine um, doing the Il Cornuto and gesture uh, that is the ornate god. And back then it was not uh, common uh, to do that. Now it, it, people do it uh, like uh, instinctually almost at rock shows. It's everywhere. But back then it was not. And uh, it's an important uh, uh, element, I think, for understanding uh, that they're not just a pop band, you know, there's more to them than that, as we'll see. So next slide, please. Yeah, that's another one. It's from the rec record uh, yesterday and today. Where I hate uh, that cover. What were they there with the... Uh, Butchered animal parts, baby parts, butchered baby parts, all smiling, having fun. What band would like to be portrayed themselves on that way willingly? It, because it was all a big joke to see that we will upset anything from the Beatles because they were the Fab Four and all of that. But still, it's sick, kind of sick stuff. And uh, so, yeah, there's a... I wanted to point to just to give a, a notion that they were not all, all not all just clean full fun for the whole family. You know, there's more to them than that. And next uh, slide, please. Okay, so this is the cover of their uh, most uh, well-known uh, album, concept album. It is. Uh, uh, Sturgeon Pepper, Lonely House Club Band, obviously, and you have uh, Alistair Crowley at the top uh, left. So again, uh, some shady stuff there. Uh, and then we get to the other <laughs> slide, please. So that's you wanted to know if Billy uh, Paul McCartney died in a car crash in 1967 and what was replaced by uh, a man named Billy Shears. This is the, the thesis of that ridiculous book. Okay, it's 666 pages. Wow. It has really? a foreword by uh, the grandson of uh, George Martin, the Beatles producer, and it's a full load of hogwash. And the, <laughs> well, just even what's on the cover, okay, Billy Shears. They say that the Paul McCartney died in 67 in the car crash and he was replaced by Billy Shears. Right. Okay. That's the tenant of the book. But if you even listen, uh, just cat, just, uh, normally to the, the record, uh, Sergeant Pepper, you will see that Paul McCartney is not Billy Shear on the record. He presents Billy Shear. He says, the singer is going to sing a song and he wants you to sing along. So let me introduce to you the one and only Billy Shears. And then Ringo Starr sings the next and song. He's he is, Billy Shears. Uh, Ringo is Billy Shears. So it's complete nonsense, a red earring. And it's made to obfuscate and discredit the real coding in the Beatle. That's my view, at least. Because uh, just to, and this, this, the, that, that's at the end of the first song, what I said, the uh, he said, uh, the singer's going to sing along. He wants everybody to sing along. So let me introduce to you the one and only Billy Shears. And then the, the second track starts with the band presenting Billy Shears. Billy Shears. Right. And then Ringo starts to sing. So Ringo is Billy Shears. So it's complete nonsense. And they say that the new McCartney is taller and uh, blah, blah, blah. And he's not tall. He's, he was always the tallest of the Beatles. He's the same guy, same face, same voice. You can't change a guy like that and it's going to look like the same guy. You know, like at, to this point, it's impossible. So, no, he didn't die. This stuff is uh, conspiracy bullshit. And it it discredits. I think there is a, there's a lot of true coding in the Beatles and they're way more interesting. Uh, for instance, Billy Shears. 
uh, my take on it is that Billy is a code word and coded songs that um, uh, it, that it represents the incarnate male, incarnated male spirit. And uh, there's an interesting uh, semantic field around the word Billy phonetically. You have it's a bill first that must be paid. It's also a bully because uh, Billy bully. It's also in French, interestingly, a bully is a bubble. So it might be the bubble of or uh, conscious mind. Right. But the most significant aspect of Billy for me is uh, it, that it is, uh, at least my view of it, uh, my present view is that is, it, it is a, a miniature Baal, a diminutive of Baal. Mm -hmm. So Baal being one of the names of the god of the world. And so uh, a smaller, a small Baal will be a, a Bill, a Bill, Billy, you know, Billy. And we'll see why, just not, uh, not just in uh, the Beatles stuff. This is popping all over the place, Billy, Billy. And shears is a shears of scissor, as you know, because Billy is risking to cut is the link with his true love, which is the prime sister or twin sister. Mm. So uh, that's it for uh, this one, I think. So next slide, please. Before we go, this Thomas, yeah. you Harriet, when did this book come out? Oh, I don't know. A, a couple, uh, maybe more than a decade, I think. But there's uh, new edition all the time. And uh, now there's a book about the book. And uh, it never ends, you know. Uh, it's all about... you have the probation of the Beatles to to do that. Because like I said, the, the, the foreword to the book is... Uh, is uh, is made by uh, the grandson of George Martin to give it credibility, right. but it's complete nonsense. <laughs> it probably, I, I haven't read the book, but I know I, the what I've heard from interview, the guy saying was completely nonsense. And uh, yeah, so that's yeah. all we can. <laughs> okay, there you go. That the singer is gonna sing a song, and he wants you to sing along. So let me introduce to you the one and only Billy Shears. A Sergeant Clip Pepper Clown Only Arts Club band. Right. So and what so we're all Billy Shears. And uh the singer is gonna sing a song and he wants us to sing it. That's why they say he wants you to sing all to sing along because it's all about all of us. So the real coding is a lot more deep than the fake coding. The fake coding is all about George McCartney died in the clock uh, in a car accident while the the true coding is all about us being incarnated in this world. So we can switch to the other, uh, uh, the other slide, please. So that's with a little help from my friend. So Billy Shears, as they start by screaming that. So then Ringo starts to sing. What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? So it's a singer that's not used to sing on his own. Like us, incarnated in the male spirit, we're not used to be separated from our, our prime sister. That is uh, really how we will sing the tune better with her. Okay. Uh, lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key. Oh, I get by with a little help of my friend. The friend in question are the Archons. Mm. Uh, and they're not really your friend. <laughs> uh, why do I do when my love is away does it worry you to be alone so this is the, the band saying that does it worry you to be alone how do you feel by the end of the day are you sad because you're on your own because he's supposed to he's living in the bubble he thinks he's on his own the prime sister is right there but she's kind of uh, not in touch with because there's no he does, he does it was complicated to explain that. Um, okay. How do you feel by the end of the day? No, I are you sad because you're on, on your own? No, I get by, but with a little help of my friend. Okay, so next slide. Do you need anybody? I need somebody to love. Could it be anybody? I want somebody to love. So Billy doesn't care if what's he loving is his true twin sister inside or something outside in the outside world. 
So you want somebody to love. So it's being fooled by a substitute, exterior substitute of the matrix. Mm. When you believe in love at first sight, yes, I'm certain that it happens all the time. That again, it's about falling in love with the world once you incarnate. But do you see what you turn out the light? I can tell you, but I know I, it's mine. Then he's talking about the twin sister. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friend. I'm going to get high. And after they repeat, do you need anybody? I just need someone to love. Could it be anybody? I want somebody to love. So he's getting fooled, Billy, by the... It's very subtle coding, but uh, it's it, to me, it's what it means. So uh, that's it for uh, the Beatles. Now, uh, next slide, please. Yeah, I got, I got an observation before we move yeah, on yeah. to the Beatles. Um, one of the things I always thought, and um, I bought the album when it first came out when I was yeah. a kid, okay. um, is that the Sgt. Pepper's album was, uh, could you go back to the cover, the album cover, Miguel? Sure. Then I want to point something out. And this is an alternative explanation. Um, okay. Um, you see how the Beatles is is uh, laid out in flowers there? They yeah. were they were doing a funeral for the old Beatles, you know, the, the love me do, you know, uh, help, you know, she loves you type Beatles. And it, you could make an argument that the Sergeant Pepper's, you know, alternative band was the start of a whole new type of Beatles and a whole new type of song. So, mm. so yeah, that's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah that's, uh, that's kind a good of uh, point. Makes sense. Yeah. Very good point. Yeah. On the surface of it. So, that There's a lot going on with the, uh, the Edgar Allan Poe is there. Uh, yeah, Carl Young, uh, Bob Dylan. So, but Crowley uh, is a little strange there. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a little out of place. Although, yeah. Really, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We see it. Uh, it's a kind of a funeral for the Beatles. Yeah, and they're at their own funeral. You see the old Beatles standing there yeah, on the left. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they look sad. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's the old true. Beatles are dead. That's another uh, bit of uh, meaning of uh, for it. And I'm not sure. Are all the people back there dead? Um, all, uh, all the no. Dylan's buried? not. Dylan's not dead for sure. Not at the time. Well, he's that's not right. dead today. But oh, back then, he was. Yeah. So uh, yeah. You'd have, we'd have to look at each one of them. I think most of them are. Marilyn Monroe yeah. obviously was was done at the time. Laurel and Hardy, Karl Marx, obviously. Yeah. yeah. The guy who yeah, played Tarzan, I, Marlon Brando was alive. Yeah, mm. there were a couple of ones that were alive. Yeah, we'd have to. W.C. Fields, I don't know if he was alive then. Yeah, we'd have to check it out. Hmm. Also, we always thought that uh, high with a little help, uh, I got high with a little help from my friends, uh, 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 was talking about the love of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> right. then, yeah. Yeah, well, you can interpret them uh, all sorts of ways. But uh, yeah, I think the funeral too is supposed to allude to the dying of Paul and the fake uh, coding right. of uh, the... But all of it, maybe the Beatles were participating in this... Uh, type of, of coding, of fake coding, to discredit the other coding in their songs, like uh, Hey Jude is coded, uh, what else is coded? The Fool on the Hill, I could explain, I explained them on my website if you want to go check out what I think about these ones. Very good. So, uh, can we get back where we were? Sure, sure. sure. No, you're right, Carl Jung does appear there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's the first time I've ever heard. I'm having Aldous Huxley, Dylan Thomas, why Tony Curtis? I have no idea. Noel and William Noel. Burroughs. Yeah. Okay. H.G. Wells, too. Well, yeah, all these definitely a mixture of social engineers and famous people. Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Lewis Carroll, and that's not a shock either. Einstein. Okay. I'll have to take a look later. Television yeah. set, somebody put. Oh, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get back to the. Let us leave the Beatles land here. Yeah. So to, there we go. Michael Jackson. No, this one, yeah. Uh, Michael, Michael Jackson here shown with the ring of Saturn around his head and uh, mentioned escape. So I showed this image the first time I was um, I was on the show, I think last November. 
Uh, this is uh, just to show that Michael has a shady side too. Uh, and next, next slide, please. So this is the most commercially successful album of all time. It's Thriller by Michael Jackson. It's still the greatest uh, selling record uh, ever. And uh, it's the first song on it is uh, a coded song. It's called uh, You Want to Be Starting Something. And it's supposed to be Jackson wrote it and he said it was about his, his sister. But it's impossible. Uh, we'll see why. It's a coded song, obviously. So next slide, please. Okay, so my take on it is that it's the God of the world talking directly at us on this one and telling us that we have to start something uh, working at our ascension. So I said you want to be starting something. You got to be starting something. I said you want to be starting something. You got to be starting something. It's too high, too high to get over. Yeah, yeah, too low to get under. You're stuck in the middle and the pain is thunder. So we to go high to heaven, you have to do a lot of good deeds. And to go low, you have to do a lot of bad. So we're stuck in the, the middle. The pain that is thunder is the pain of the prime sister. Uh, it's too high, it's too it's too high to get over, too low to get under. You're stuck in the middle and the pain is thunder. Okay, so he repeats that. So next slide, please. You love to pretend that you're good when you're always up to no good. You really can make him eat aether so your tongue became a razor. This is, I think, addressed to the twin sister or the prim the prime. Uh, because she's held responsible for everything. And uh, so someone always trying to keep my baby crying, treacherous, cunning, declining. You got my baby crying. The baby here that's talking about is not a physical baby. It's the baby soul that grows inside. Okay. So it cannot be about Jackson's sister. It, it makes no sense. When you you start to, to understand the, what, what is being said, and the next lyrics are even more clear. You're a vegetable. Okay, it's not about his sister. You're a vegetable. Still, they eat you. You're a vegetable. You're just a buffet. You're a vegetable. They eat out of you. You're a vegetable. And on the record, you can hear on the left ear, a female voice say, you're a vegetable. And on the other side, you will hear a male voice say, shut up, bitch. Okay? <laughs> yeah, end the song. If you listen well on your... On your your earphone, because uh, it's about uh, it's about being a vegetable. It has two meanings. It's uh, something that you can eat, but it's also being in a vegetative state. So what it means spiritually is not working at your ascension. You're not making any move, like the fool on the hill, like uh, all sorts of character like that, that's similar to that. Uh, so they eat off of you. Who is he eating off of you? Is of course the, this these incarnated spirits that feed upon uh, uh, our spiritual energy because we're not active. When you're not active, you're not protected. You don't have the, the protection of love around you that protects you from uh, being eaten by these this incarnate entity that steal or away our uh, spiritual energy. So you're a vegetable owl. So next slide, please. Okay, now the the this is the first track of the record. Okay, and Billy Jean's pop up for the first time. She has a track on on her own uh, later in the album, uh, but she's there. Now we see what Billy Jean is in my view. Billy Jean is always talking when nobody else is talking, telling lies and rubbing shoulders. So they call her motor. motor. So why is Billy Jean? Okay, so Billy, we've seen what Billy was, and Jean is Greek gene, in fact, like a gynecologist. It's a woman, okay, or a matrix that gene narrates Billy, Billy Jean. So Billy Jean is the matrix. Because we have done, and the esoteric, the phonetic always prevail to the written word that cast a spell. That's what's called spelling. You cast a spell on the reader with the spelling. 
So Billie Jean is Jeanne, like I said, a woman, a matrix. She, so she's always talking when nobody else is talking. What's supposed to be talking is this and this. The head and the heart is, they should be coming uh, in synchrony. So it's mainly the male spirit that has to uh, synchronize with the prime sister. But because they're not talking, and nobody has talk, something talking louder. This is the louder input of the matrix, the feelings, the sensation, the all of that. So she's talking when nobody's talking, telling lies. She tells lies. One of the lies that she tells is that we have to take uh, our energy from other life forms because while we're in this world, we have to do that. There's no other choice. So that's a lie from where we come from. So that's one of the lies that she tells. And rubbing shoulders, she's rubbing shoulders. You know, she she takes the place of the uh, prime sister. So they called her malt a motor. So who calls her malt a motor? Again, the archons. Because Billie Jean of the Matrix provides them with spiritual energy. So someone's always trying to start my baby crying, talking, squealing, spying, saying you want, just want to be starting something. Okay, so you see this one, Billie Jean is... Uh, uh, okay, well, I'll explain that later. If you can't feed your baby, then don't have a baby. And don't think maybe if you can't feed your baby. The baby, again, is the soul that's growing inside. Uh, don't think maybe. The maybe is the unification between the male spirit and the twin sister. So this is the maybe. So don't think you're going to ever achieve that if you don't, care to, don't take care of the growing of your soul. You always be trying to stop that child from crying, asleep, still in line. Now baby slowly dying. So it's not a, a human baby, you know. It's talking about abstract concepts here in the form. Am I clear with what I say? Or is it... Uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. You get it? Okay. Depends, yeah. So next one, please. Next slide. Okay, so now we're at the second track that I want to talk about on the record uh, trailer. It's just the track titled Billie Jean. And this, what we see, is the first time Michael Jackson performed it live. And you can see with his finger, is doing the Il Cornuto again. Oh, my right God. Hand. He started the song with that, with this position. Okay, very subtle, but it's there. And, uh, okay, so next slide, please. Yeah, and for those joining late, as... Uh... Ian has said, uh, Billy means, as he's decoded, means ball. So keep that in mind. It's a miniature ball, which is what, which was, we all are a miniature ball because like the God of the world, we, we can do both good and bad. Oh, okay. We mm -hmm. can, uh, we can uh, do good or you can do bad. We can do both. From where we come from, we couldn't do that. It was impossible. So she was Billy Jeans. That's the song, the Billy Jeans. She was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. So a beauty queen, Mother Nature, the Matrix is a beauty queen. And from a movie scene, because she's not for true, she's kind of illusory. She has a certain degree of reality, as we all know, but uh, she's from a movie scene. I said, don't mind, but what do you mean? I am the one who will dance on the floor and around. So dancing on the floor, uh, going round and round is a late motive in coded songs. That's about not going anywhere. So you run in a vicious circle of repetition and you're not going in a straight line. Not, you're not advancing. You're not progressing. You. So she said, I am the one. So remember the one and only Billy Shear. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am the one who will dance on the floor in the round. She said, I am the one who will dance on the floor in the round. She told me her name was Billy Jeans, as she's called the scene. She calls the scene. Then every head turn with eyes that dream of being the one who will dance on the floor and around. So she's a hypnotist, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next, next slide, please. People always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go on breaking young girl's heart. The young girl heart, the young girl, sorry, the young girl's heart is the twin, their prime sister. I used to say twin sister. Now I call her not prime sister. So, and her heart can be broken. And mother always told me, be careful who you love and be careful what you do because the lie becomes the truth. 
So what's, what is the lie in question? The lie is thinking that the, the, the matrix is the lie. You see? Right. The lie becomes the truth. When you're seeking exteriorly for what you should seek interiorly, the lie is the, eventually becomes your truth because you can tell the difference. So Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one, but the kid is not my son. So here, a lot of wordplay here. So, but the kid, the kid is the children of the goat. The goat is the God. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the son is not S-O-N, it's S-U-N, it's the inner son. Okay, and uh, Spanish, the word for son, soul, son is soul. The soul is the inner son. Okay, so she's a girl who claims I'm the one, but the kid is not my son, means that the matrix is not my my really my inner son. She's an an imitation, an exterior imitation of it. So the kid, the children, the, the kid here is the matrix, is not my son. She says I am the one, but the kid is not my son. So wordplay here. For forty days and forty nights, law was on her side, but who can stand when she's in the man our scheme and plan? So for forty days and forty nights, this refers to the land of Christ in the desert where he was tempted by Satan. Okay, so it's not the, the, because Billy Jean's Michael Jackson said it was about uh, one of his fans. Okay, so it's not about one of his fans. Okay, it has nothing to do with that. It is uh, something else that is being spoken here. Like uh, you want to be starting something, wasn't it about Jackson's sister? Cannot be impossible. Like this one cannot be about uh, a fan because, like I said, it's re the referral that for 40 days, 40 nights was the length of Christ in the, in the desert where he was uh, uh, tortured or uh, persecuted by Satan. Okay, so uh, I think maybe it's over for Billy Jean. Next one. Yeah, okay, so now I'll get to Phil Collins. Here we see he makes the capstone of the pyramid with his thumb and uh, his, uh, his uh, elbow. So they were more subtle back then. They had, now it's more open, the, 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 the signs they make. But So Phil, uh, nobody seems to find strange that Phil was a drummer in the 70s. And all of a sudden in the 80s, he becomes the most... Uh, adulated pop icon it's after it's after it's both in solo and with his band genesis while singer and nobody finds it strange okay so i think maybe he made a certain deal to get there you know and we're ah. showing like this picture with the capstone is a uh, one of the many uh revelation of the method or something deal with the devil yeah uh, he's a really good drummer but as far as having charisma for a star always confuse me <laughs> yeah so uh and genesis is a great band but again he was the drummer and he was, was kind of in the background and he sang some of the songs and yeah and he became so famous uh huge like, not just one it like it after it after it uh, year yeah. after, during the 80s it was year it after it after it after yeah it. yeah he wasn't at the level of michael jackson but he was pretty close yeah yeah exactly uh, okay so next slide please here you want uh, this is a cover art for uh, a show we made. Uh, I didn't touch anything uh, with Photoshop, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't. Maybe they did, but... So what you, if you look closely, you will see the face of the God of the world. Uh, he's looking and down like in a pose like um, Jack Nicholson in The Shining where uh, he's uh, above the labyrinth. I don't know if you can see it. I cannot not see it, but it's kind of a creepy face. Okay, it's not a. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Yeah, so it's not Phil Collins, real. Maybe it's creepy. his face, but it was touched up to mean something else. You mean it's, the circles uh, around the eyes, the dark eyes? And well, the... you see the the pupil, I kind of uh, revolves up. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, me, I, I cannot not see it now. It is pretty creepy. Well, the, like exactly. The papers exactly. Are, are like wide it, and white. It's supposed to be creepy when you see it correctly. Yeah. 
but it seemed to have escaped the mind of everybody. Uh, uh, I don't know why. So uh, next slide, please. Oh yeah, okay, so now we get to the music video about Billy that I wanted to talk about. It's called Billy Don't Lose My Number. And the music video is really, really important. Uh, now it's difficult to explain with only stills, but I try to explain as best I can. So it's about it, Bill, Bill, Phil Collins receive, uh, having over presenters. Well, do you, that, you don't mean to play it? I think I can. Not yet, not yet. Okay, all right. Because uh, we only have a, an excerpt of it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's. Uh, you can see his shirt is played black and white because the, that's the theme of the music video about the confrontation between light and dark, uh, evil and good. Uh, so he's having over presenters that are pitching him for the concept of his new music video, the one we are seeing. So the first presenters arrived, uh, and we can go to the next slide, please. So he has red shoes. Okay, and the red shoes uh, is another uh, symbol that relates to the God of the world. And the music video for uh, I Got My Mind Set on You by George Harrison, there's a similar uh, beginning with the red shoes that are carried by, by a dog. Yeah. So it's a sign that something about uh, importance about to be revealed in this music video. So the first presenter, what he does is uh, pitching him names of a famous uh, gunman that stood alone. And uh, Phil Collins is pitching him back other names. It's, it's all names that are have to do with Westerns. And then we cut to the production of the video. Next slide, please. So yeah, we cut to uh, a fight scene between a man, a sheriff standing for his woman. We see the woman, we don't see it or now, but that's what we should do as men because we're all men, we're all male spirit. So we're all protectors of the woman, which is the prime sister. So they show on the first one what should be done, but then because it's not accomplished, a uh, problem ensues. So there's another presenter after that. Next, please. Okay, so the next presenter is presenting. Yeah, you see his, alf, his face is alf and light, alf and dark. So there is, it seems like uh, nothing, this music video, but everything is thought out. That he has a shallow because the shallow is a bass vibration when evil creeps in, you know, and uh, conflict with that is degenerating between good and evil. So next slide, please. Oh, okay. So this is another group of presenters, and they're all gym dancers, and they make uh, weird moves in the face of Phil Collins, uh, and this represents activity, human activity, uh, without a purpose that we do. Instead of fighting evil or standing up for evil, we do some silly stuff like gym dancing that leads nowhere. Okay, so that's the next presenter, and then the next one. Do we have it? I don't know. And the next one is, this is where the video should be. You didn't change the, you didn't have the time, huh, Miguel? No, I didn't have oh, Okay, time. so we don't have it. So, okay. So the next one, uh, the next, the next um, presenter. No, that's not the one. That's the video. We're at the video. Okay, we can show it, and uh, I will narrate it because we can have the sound because of YouTube. Oh, we can try it. Let's see what happens. Let's take a risk. Even okay. We can always... The scale, of course. You gonna eat that sandwich? No, go ahead. Who's playing the guitar? Daryl Sturmer. Great, great sandwich. So you ride right through the front gate, <laughs> then you see the evil king. You raise your crossbow. Faint blood! Great, isn't it? Uh, it's not really me, though. It's not really okay. me, though. You're at the beat. Oh. Keep going, or? Okay, you can stop it. Okay. I didn't know you could stop it. 
I, I can, can explain yeah. what we just I just here. learned. I just learned, Ian. I can stop Okay, it. <laughs> great. Okay, so uh, what we saw is the presenter saying to Phil, so Phil, it's easy. You get inside the four. And he said not, it's not to scale because the scale is the word. The evil king is the demiurge. So he said you go into the front gate, you see the evil king, you raise your crossbow, and you shoot. Right. And he said fake blood. And, Bill, and Phil says it's not really me, though. So he's refusing his role to stand uh, up to evil. Okay. And then the, the presenter, the fat presenter says, okay, then you're at the beach. Then we can show the continue the video. Uh, these 80s videos were something else. I wish I said, I, I wish I could say I missed them, but uh, I, <laughs> here we go. He's pointing at you when he's talking. He says, Billy, oh, many, many times. Uh, they want to overemphasize that it's about you who's listening to this presentation and he's playing the the because okay i'm not gonna explain what it is hmm? okay leave it there please okay. uh yeah so here what we got is if, in my view at least is the god of the world through his spokesperson phil collins telling us what our roles should be we should be the white knight or the unicorn with the phallic symbol on his hand. You know, the stick is like the unicorn. It's the same symbolism. Okay. But instead of that, we're at the beach with the woman, the the, 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 the girls that are, that represents the distraction of the matrix that prevents us from doing this work and becoming who we are. And during is when he's walking on the beach he's pointing several times when, when he say you when he say billy he's pointing at the camera because it's about all of us we're all billy okay and uh so the the lyrics uh the the chorus of the song is very important it says billy don't lose my number because i'm not anywhere where i can find you so the speaker the true narrator of the song is the prime sister because what she's saying is that don't lose the capacity you have to connect with me, the number. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, I can find you, you know, because we, we have to be the ones who relate with her. That's just the, and to be proving even that's further, that it's really about the twin, the prime sister. Next slide, please. All right, we'll go back to the slides. And for those who join us, who is the prime sister? Oh yeah, well uh, yeah, you should watch the the two presentation I made. But uh, the prime sister is um, how can I explain that quick? Well, we're we're we were made, and uh, we certainly are. I'm not sure of uh, certain things about it. Uh, we're. Well, it is, she's the heart and soul. That's what she is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we often think that our soul and our heart is a thing that we possess, but it's, it's the word is not correct. Being is not the right word, but it's uh, something that has a, uh, that is the real you, that is the true identity. The male part of our being doesn't have a real identity. The mm -hmm. identity that has been given is a fictitious one. So the true identity is in the heart. That we say that sometimes, but it's true. And um, so, yeah. So yeah. the the next slide. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of the Egyptian. The Ba is our personality, and the Ka is our truth. Yeah, self. it's all that. It's all uh, coming back to that. So you see, the next presenter is a, a an Asian woman, speaks Japanese, and the but an Asian woman and coded. Uh, music videos and songs is uh, always referring to the prime sister because she's in another hemisphere. She's supposed to be on the left hemisphere. The right is the male part and the left is supposed to be the feminine. But because we're not clean enough, it's instead sinister that's on the left that right. takes the place. So she's the one speaking there and saying... Uh, that uh, Billy shouldn't lose her number. Yeah, don't lose her number. She's <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if it makes sense. Uh, I have to explain that in English. And uh, 
through little fire, little uh, stills I'd said of the whole video, music video. But still, so that's what I wanted to 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 say about Billy. So we're all Billy Shears, we're all in Billy Jean, mm -hmm. and we all shouldn't lose the link we have with our prime sister. So that's the message of these uh, uh, of these songs. And for sense. us, we think, what's the big deal if it's coded like that? <laughs> if it's coded like that, it's a very big deal, okay? Or what it, uh, if you make the, the connect the dots in your head about all of it, uh, that really there is a, the God of the world really codes uh, music like that and uh, use human. Uh, it's quite uh, staggering to me, at least when I found that out, uh, I was shook uh, to my core. Uh, and there's more than that. This is just the Billy concept that I, I, I go through in my website. Mm -hmm. There's more. Uh, Billy, uh, bon Jovi has a song with a Billy Jean in it and uh, others. But these are the main three I found uh, in pop music that are about uh, the Billy concept. So next, I think next is uh, the other video, right? Uh, the Bob Dylan video? Yeah. No, oh yeah, 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 it is. It... Okay, let me put it on. This should be easy. Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. You ever look at music that you've written and look back at it and say, whoa, that mm -hmm. surprised me? I used to. Uh, I, I, I don't do that anymore. Uh, I don't know how I got to, to write those songs. What do you mean you don't know how? Well, those early songs were like almost magically written. Um, uh, darkness at the break of noon, shadows even the silver spoon, a handmade blade, a child's balloon. Eclipses both the sun and moon to understand you knew too soon there is no sense in trying. This Dylan classic, It's All Right, Ma, was written in 1964. Piece the hollow horn, plays wasted words, proves to warn that he not busy being born is busy dying. Well, try to sit down and write something like that. Uh, th there's a magic to that, and it's not uh, Siegfried and Roy kind of magic. You know, it's a it's a different kind of a penetrating magic. And uh, you know, I did it. I, I I did it at one time. You don't think you can do it today? Mm -mm. Does that disappoint you? Well, you can't do something forever. And uh, I did it once, and I can do other things now, but. Uh, I can't do that. Yeah, so how about that, guys? Made a bargain with the Commander-in-Chief. And his songs are uh, magically written. I know that in the 60s, he was writing songs in five minutes. It, as most, it could take a, as much time as to read the song, almost to write it. It was automatic writing. He was channeling these songs from somewhere. And... Um, yeah, even on YouTube, you can find uh, he was so magically charged in the 60s that he sometimes he was saying words, of all uh, all sentences that could be reversed and uh, be completely audible and reverse. So he, maybe he didn't, he didn't even know that it wasn't on purpose. He was he's talking almost normally and you can reverse like uh, there's one he says. Uh, uh, Stick a long one in the slot. <laughs> really vulgar things like that uh, in reverse. I think it's on bon Blonde on Blonde, the album. So, yeah. So, there's more to entertainment than we think. Huh? So, For this sure. is a Tom Petty song that is another key. Oh, before this, you go, I, of course, I have yeah. to mention uh, Bob Dylan uh, did say once... Uh, 
hearing Elvis for the first time was like busting out of jail. He felt that his consciousness <laughs> was freed and humanity was freed yeah. when he first listened. And I just thought of it because, uh, oops, sorry, Tom Petty was obviously a uh, huge Elvis fanatic. So yeah. if there's a font, it's there. But uh, yeah, it all continue. goes back to Elvis with rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, he made. I in my book, he made a deal with the devil. Or, he unleashed. Uh, I don't know. He was so talented. Is uh, some some people said he was an alien. <laughs> that's the case I make in my book, Ian. Yes. Oh yeah, I there, are, there are those who think it, and he did have several extraterrestrial encounters with lots of witnesses. There was no, <laughs> it was. This is not one person. Like with his dad, his friends, all that. So. All right. But uh, yeah, so maybe he was the font of magic. Mm. One thing we know for sure, the aliens don't know how to play the harmonica because Bob Dylan sure didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. The, yeah. What can so you this say? Song, everybody don't have knows lips. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Ian. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, I wanted, uh, say, I was saying uh, uh, this song is really, really, really important. Okay. Uh, the The first shot of the music video shows a, a box that's closed with uh it's made in uh snake skin okay and the, the box is closed and, oh, yeah. and petty is stepping it with his finger mm -hmm. and uh, uh the box represent the uh, the fact that we're stuck in the the snake's skin is about you know the old uh legend about the 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 Garden of Eden and uh, being tempted down, and uh, so we're in a prison made by the serpent skin, you know, like, and it's also vibra vibrational energy skin represents that too. So it's about the fact of being uh, uh, being in a jail of sort on the box, okay. And he shows and he opened the box. So the meaning of it, in my view, is that the song is going to sing is showing the way out, the way to open the box. The way to salvation and uh well yeah the song is called uh, i won't back down and so it shows it shows it, it shows us what we should be doing so i won't back down or i won't back down you can stand me up at the gates of hell and i won't back down because we are at the gates of hell we just don't know about it right. we are at the gates of hell no doubt and uh he said i i I will stand my ground. I won't be turned around. And again, you got the late motive of turning around, uh, turning around like Michael Jackson and Billy Jean, like he's there. It's, it's all over the place in coded song, turning around. It, uh, it's, uh, it has also to do with Saturn, the Lord of the Rings, because you're doing, you're twisting around Saturn when you're doing this kind of, uh, of uh, turning around. So that's an important one. And to end, overemphasize that it's important, guess who's popping up in the music video? Ringo Starr plays the drum and, oh, of the Beatles yeah. and George Harrison do back vocal. Okay, So of yeah. course, it was uh, Harrison was friend with Tom Petty, but still, they put them in the music video because it's a really, really, really important message from the God of the world in it. Okay, So next slide. And they even show you what happens if you back down. The song is not all back down. The hurt, which is an anagram of the heart, is getting drilled because they want the value inside. So if you back down, they take it. Mm -hmm. So that's we should all study this song because it's not just an ordinary song. It's really explaining how things are. Okay, so next slide, please. Okay, so this is uh, at uh, Katy Perry. The first time I was on the show, we cover uh, her extensively. Uh, is, this is a, uh, at a re uh, an award show a couple of years ago, MTV award show. And they were doing the presentation of Highway to L by ACDC. Oh. And all the stars had little horns. And Katy is doing the Il Cornuto here. The next slide, please here at the same and the other one here again 
So she wanted to be sure that we we're going to see that she was uh, approving this. And the song is uh, it's, it's kind of coded, but it's just plain to figure out. Uh, leaving, uh, living easy, loving free, season ticket for a one-way ride, okay? So collectively, we are right now going to hell. And individually, most of us, because we don't know what's going on, we don't know that we're losing the link with the prime sister that's in the heart. Um, and they have a, a CDC, they have a lot of coded songs. Uh, one of the most important I made, uh, I made the analysis on my website is Who Made Who. Uh, it's an interesting uh, music video. Uh, maximum thing. Overdrive. Great concept yeah. for the machines. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crappy movie, but the concept makes sense. Some alien force. Have you seen the music video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, I love they show the, what could be interpreted as the Archon. Again, they showed this Uded figure yeah. that sending the light and front and our eyes and uh, all sorts of things, but uh, not for tonight. Yeah. So next one, please. All right. Vince, can you take over? The cats are killing themselves, each other. All right. Get them out of here. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. You want another slide? Yeah, please. Okay, so this is a, a music video by Billy Idol. Uh, it's another interesting one. Uh, first, what we see here is zombies, kind of zombies representing humans that are uh, kind of dead spiritually or uh, in a coma. And they try to uh, to climb a building where the Billy Idol is at the top waiting for them. So they kind of I think it represents worldly ambition and being dead spiritually. And there is kind of a, I think it's a mailbox in front. Yeah. To my better, uh, it's a it's mailbox. mailbox. So I think it represents that the music video has an important message carried through in it. So the next slide, please. So Billy Idol is going up the building, he's in an elevator, and he's pointing at the viewer when he's saying, I dancing with myself. Normally he should have said, I'm dancing with myself, pointing at him, but he's pointing at the viewer because it's about the, the viewer, it's about him. So dancing with oneself is again, being stuck in the bubble of the conscious mind, okay? Normally when you dance, you synchronize. So you're supposed to synchronize with the, the heart part, uh, the twin sister, prime sister. And because it's not accomplished, then uh, that leads to the problem. Uh, so next one, please. So we see that on the right, under the elevator, there is uh, at one level, a woman that's prisoner. And that's again, the prime sister that's prisoner. And there's a guy that's getting ready to kill her because uh, of too much dancing with oneself. Dancing with oneself, the, the song says, when there's nothing to lose and there's nothing to prove, I'm dancing with myself. So it's mockery here, but the, the completely the contrary is true. Uh, uh, do we have everything to lose by losing the prime sister, and we have everything to prove that our love with her is as strong as to test the test of the world. So next slide, please. So then... The zombie arrived on the rooftop of the building. Billy is there waiting. And guess what we have on the center stage? A lazy boy. Okay. Why put a lazy boy there? It's another metaphor like being at the beach or being a vegetable. Okay. A lazy boy. Because we're all boys. Incarnated. So they put the lazy boy there. That has no purpose. They have to make the choice to put the lazy boy there. They have to carry it. It's a set. They have to carry it. So it's all thoughtful, okay? It's all very important. The song uh, is about uh, being selfish, being in one's head and not being in, in link with the twin sister. So that's why all the zombies are there. They're all trying to climb up in the world. They all have uh, earthly pursuits. And then the, the next slide, please. The God of the world. <laughs> and also he's Billy Idol, so maybe there's a joke with the is the idol of Billy, the Demirge. So he sent back the zombies down. Uh, next slide. The zombies go back down and they have to start back their process of uh, 
climbing the building. So that was it for this one. So next one, please. Okay, this is talking. Yeah, they're one of the most um, uh, coded artists in the lyrics that I've found there. Uh -huh. yeah. They're a treasure trove of coding. So this one is called Once in a Lifetime, the music video I analyze on the website. You can check it out. Uh, we won't do it tonight, but uh, we, uh, we will analyze the lyrics instead. So the music video is about, well, I can, I can explain a bit what it is about. It is about uh, the incarnate and male spirit receiving blows, like he's always receiving blows, like invisible blows uh, to his body because of his incarnation. He's seen making patterns of going down like that. And then, uh, oh, no, the other one. Uh, can you go back? Yeah. And he's uh, uh, seen also cutting his right arm with his left arm, all sorts of things. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to analyze the lyrics. So next slide, please. And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack, and you may find yourself in another part of the world, and you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile, and you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife, and you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? So here I think the reference is uh, the, to reincarnation, that you never know when you're going to pop up, because we reincarnate. Okay, so letting the days go by, let the water hold me down. The water is a uh, an element that is alien to alien to or a spiritual inner sun. So the water is holding us down because it's water flowing underground. Underground is again or underground here the interior theory, like they say in the in the esoteric. Into the blue again after the money is gone. So the blue. Blue is a color that's a cold color, by opposite to the red of the heart again. And to be blue means to have been uh, uh, deprived of the prime sister. After the money is gone, money, as I explained the first time I was on the show, is a cold word for spiritual energy again. So it all fits together. Then to the blue again, after the money is gone, once in a lifetime, water flowing on the ground. And you may ask yourself, how do I work this? And you may ask yourself, where is that large automobile? And you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. So the here, the incarnate and male spirit starts to have doubts about, is he at the right place in this world? Is it really uh, his beautiful house? Is it really his beautiful wife? No, a beautiful wife is inside. It's not outside. So he's starting to have doubt, but he's still deluded. Next slide, please. Same as it ever was, same as it ever was. So he thinks he's still in prime creation with his true lover, that is, but he's living an imitation life outside. So water dissolving, water removed, and again, it's again uh, the water is is kind of an element that is taken that he used to take away or true spiritual energy. Uh, yeah. So you may ask yourself, what is that beautiful house? And you may ask yourself, where does that highway go to? They have another song that called highway, like Road to Nowhere. So that's where it goes to, the highway. Mm -hmm. And you may ask yourself, am I right? Am I wrong? And you may say to yourself, my God, what have I done? And the joke here is that is God, the God of this deluded male spirit, is the God of the world because he has followed the, way, the ways of the world. So, my God, what have I done? So that's a joke. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so that's another one. This one is called, Uh-oh, Love Comes to Town. Now, before you go to that, yeah, and then there's yeah. the great question in Once in a Lifetime. Well, we find out Paul is not dead, but is there water at the bottom of the ocean? That's still <laughs> my favorite line from that song. Yeah, this is a... Uh, and at the end, I forgot, but at the end of the... It's not in the lyrics there, but... Uh, uh David Byrne, the singer of Talking Is at the end of the song say, Here here comes the twister, the twister comes, here comes the twister. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so the right. twister is again like Michael Jackson and Billie Jean, like all the, the other examples I've given. It's about twisting, it's about going around a stationary object. 
it's also being wicked you know being twisted by by the human experience mm. and coming is about arriving in the world it means a breakup a final breakup of the twin sister and the male spirit so the male spirit is freed it <laughs> gets coagulated in the world the void of the world so and this one is uh quite dark too uh oh, oh love comes to town wait wait for the moment to come stand up stand up and take my hand believe believe in mystery love is simple as one two three the love they're talking about here is the love of the world and one two three like abc is the three step from unity to duality to the third step of final dissolution of the couple i'm a know-it-all i'm the smartest man around that's right you learn real fast here there's a mistake that's why i wanted to change the this, the pick Miguel because I didn't I just passed them I didn't read it but there's a mistake the true lyrics are is not that the true lyrics are that's right you learn real fast through the smartest girl in town okay mm -hmm. and that, I understand why they change it because it seems to make no sense when you say that's right you learn real fast through the smartest because he says I'm I'm the smartest man around that's right you learn real fast through the smartest girl in town okay the only meaning it can have with the real not, not that's not the real lyric but the is that is the the demiurge talking about his creation the the smartest girl in town is the matrix and he is the smartest girl kept my guy in town so we're far far from yell the here uh yeah it's not the dumb god okay it's so very yeah. smart and the matrix with all the laws of physics and all of that is very smart too okay so here comes a riddle, here comes a clue. If you were really smart, you'd know what to do when I say. So next next slide, please. Jump back, sit back, get back, relax, it's okay. I've called in six, I've got in sick. I won't go to work today. I'd rather be with the one I love. I neglect my duties, I'll be in trouble, but okay. So it's jump back, sit back, get back, relax. It's all about going backward instead of forward. Call, is rather stay with the one he loves is the is the matrix he neglects his duty towards uh, his prime sister he'd be in trouble because he's losing the number like in the phil collins music video uh, here come a riddle here come a clue if you are really smart you know what to do when i say jet pilot going out of control jet pilot going out of control ship captain ship captain on the ground ship captain is the prime sister Stockbroker make a bad investment when love has come to town. So stockbroker is exchange a value against another one. So you're exchanging your spiritual resources and potentially the prime sister for a perceived value that is really nothing. So stockbroker made a bad investment when love has come to town. The love they're talking about here is not agape. The love, the primordial love is love of the world and earthly pleasure. I guess it's really precise. Cannot be interpreted in anywhere uh, in, in any other way, at least in my view. Uh, next one, please. Where where is my common sense? How did I get in a jam like this? Okay, so we, we we've seen this. So why is my common sense again? Is why the deluded male spirit is uh, losing all this value for nothing? How did I get in a gem like this? That's a good question. Believe, I believe in mystery. The mystery is the mystery of life, the mystery of the world. Love, love is simple as one, two, three. Here comes a riddle, here comes a true a clue. If you were really smart, you'd know what to do when I say, why am I going out of my head whenever you're around? The answer is obvious, love has come to town. So it's again about the head, okay? And going out of the head instead of going inward going outward love has come to town so next one please next slide why do i live another uh, talking head song so it starts with i'm wearing fur pajamas the fur pajamas refers to the fact that we've been put inside an animal okay and pajama because we are spiritually asleep asleep I ride a hot potato because our situation is not uh, is troublesome. It's tickling my fancy, the matrix. Speak up, I can't hear you. You can't hear the prime sister. 
because he's too busy uh, with the because the scrambling that the matrix make the all the emotional garbage and feelings and all that you can see here on the month and here on this mountain top uh, uh oh i got some wild wildlife so the mountain top is again a cold word for the head okay because it's at the top of the human body he's not really on a mountain trip uh, uh oh so he say uh, uh oh so it's the same as the the last song we just checked uh oh love has come to town this is uh, uh oh like something is going wrong it's supposed to have fun if it, on the surface it's a son about having fun but it's not about that at all it's about the opposite there's a subtext that say that everything is going bad okay so oh uh, uh, oh i got some wild what and we're wildlife because we're inside of an animal wild wildlife right. i got some used to tell you oh, oh about some wild wildlife here comes the doctor in charge oh oh, oh. she got some wild wild life and that the way you like it, oh, oh, living a wild, wild life. So the doctor in charge is again uh, the matrix. Uh, next slide, please. I wrestle with your conscience, you wrestle with your partner. So here probably the God of the world saying you wrestle with our conscience and we wrestle with our partner, which is the prime sister, sitting on a windowsill. So it is a possibility of communication but he spends his time behind closed door. So check out Mr. Businessman, oh ho ho. He bought some wild, wild life on the way to the stock exchange. So you see, they again talk like the previous song. The song uh, come back with the same metaphors. This Mr. Businessman, he bought some wild, wild life. He exchanged his value for a perceived value. On the way to the stock exchange, oh, 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 he got some wild, wild life. Break it up, then break up the spiritual couple when he opens the door. He is doing wild, wild life. I know it's the way you like it, oh, oh, so that's the demiurge telling us that. Living wild, wild. Is it clear the meaning or is it, am I off the mark? <laughs> no, it makes sense. How okay, you, okay great. It, yeah. I have so little feedback about this. Um, uh, if you, no, it's if fascinating. You, yeah, if, if we you, disagreed with something, we'd let you know. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, uh, what I'm thinking about, if you have feedback, I would really much appreciate if you find something that I've said of interest or if you have question or if you uh, if you want to, uh, to maybe even if you disagree about, as long as it's respectful, uh, I would really much like to learn about it. I have a contact page on my website at popmusicdecoded.com. You can reach me there. Yeah, we'll have it on the show notes. So yeah, please give us your feedback. Yeah, I, I really like that. Because, uh, uh, you know, it took me months of working on this website, and I did not to attract attention on myself. I did it for being of service to others. And uh, I would like to know if it's helping somebody in any way. <laughs> okay, so next one. Okay, so this is the same song. Peace of mind, it's a piece of cake. Thought control, you get on board anytime you like. So the peace of mind that we get in our head, we don't aware of everything that's going on, okay? It's a piece of cake for the... For them to give us that peace of mind, thought control, they control your thought. You get on board anytime you like. Like sitting on pins and needles, things fall apart, is scientific. Okay, so like then again, it's what is referred here is that the system we're in is made to break the spiritual couple. It's scientific. Sleeping on the interstate, uh, uh oh, getting wild, wild life. Chicken in and chicken out. Oh, 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 I got him wild, wild life. Spending all my money, money and time. Oh, oh, oh on too much wild, wild life. We want to go where you go, where we go. Where we're going is like I went to hell. Okay. <laughs> Doing wild, wild life. So you get again, spending all my money and time. Money is, uh, like I said, a cold word for spiritual energy. And the time is the time that we have to accomplish the the marriage between the the incarnate and male spirit and the twin sister. The way you have to go forward for that, not run in circle. 
or get back, sit back, relax, like the other song. So How do we know one, they're not boasting about this? You know, maybe they yeah. maybe they love to get immersed in the world and they love to kill the, you know, the the prime sister. Maybe they're on the other side of the fence. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand what you said. Sorry, I don't understand. Well, in other words, um, when they wrote these lyrics, maybe they love the wild wildlife and they, you know, and they love the Matrix and they don't like that the prime sister, they're shunning that away because they're wild and crazy 80s people, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think, I think it's too specific to be about really about having fun and being on the mountaintop really moment it's not that it's coded and it's a mockery really what they say is that we want wild life we want the life of the matrix we don't like that want the life of buddha or christ okay and because of that things fall because if you don't live like that things slowly fall apart you lose touch with the prime sister because she won't adapt to you she won't adapt to what you what you're doing. You have to adapt, and you have to not get uh, molded and conformed by the the world. It's very difficult path. It's the narrow path, but and you got it by following humbly in the footstep of Christ. As I repeat uh, this phrase all the time on my website. Christ is the role model to follow. It's not some just some something to idolize. Uh, but it's difficult. It's easier to, to live the wild, wild life. Uh, I don't think they were talking about them specifically, the talking at think I think the, the song is written uh, as a mockery, really. Sleeping on the interstate, you're, not, you're sleeping, you're spiritually sleeping on a place where you cannot af uh, afford to do that. And all that and all that. So next one, please. Okay, now we're getting to the traveling Wilburys. They call them the super group. Uh, it was composed of uh, George Harrison, Tom Petty, uh, Bob Dylan, uh, Roy Orbison, and Jeff Lynne from Electric Light Orchestra. All right. So they have uh, many songs that are uh, silly songs, uh, but thrown in the mix are really important coded songs. And we see Bob. Bob is in it. And Bob, you remember what he, the deal he made with the commander in chief? Right. So we got another uh, clue of that in these songs. So next slide, please. OK, look out your window. This one is a riddle. I explained to you what it means. Look out your windows, that grass and green, it's kind of yellow. See what I mean. Okay. Now, the yellow is the color of the hair element. Okay. And the God of the world is the ruling prince of hair. Okay. So we will see uh, in the rest of the song where, where it plays, how it plays. See what I mean. Look up your chimney, the sky in blue. It's kind of yellow. You know it's true. It's so hard to figure out what it's all about when your outside's in and your downside's up. Yeah, your upside's right. Yeah, don't it makes you want to twist and shout when you're inside out. So it's again the twist. Like twisting around, circle, uh, making circles that go nowhere. So what? What's uh, is when your outside's in means that the physiology of the human man and the female woman is an exterior representation of what we are inside. And your downside is up. The downside. That's well. That that's have to do with. Well, it's complicated to explain. It has to do with hierarchy. Okay, so the 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 side that is supposed to be up is the what is now the downside, which is the prime sister. She's lower. What's commanding is at the top. Is the what should be downside is upside. Uh, when you outside in and your downsides up yeah your upside's right okay so your upside is right the right like i explained earlier the right side of the body is uh what we are uh male incarnated spirit that's our the part that we occupy uh symbolically okay 
So the upside is right, and the upside should be the left. That is not that is down. It's it's complicated. Sorry, I can't explain. I explain it better on my website. Uh, that makes don't sense. make you want to twist and shout. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, should I, uh, try harder. Okay, so when you're outside, it's in, like I said, and that's also inside out. There's a song by Phil Collins with similar meaning to that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, inside out. Uh, when you're outside, it's in. Okay, explain that. When your downside is up, so the side, the male spirit is supposed to be down, and the male and the compared to the. In other words, the what should be, should be calling the shot is the prime sister. That's what it means. Okay, next next uh, slide, please. It's so hard to figure out what it's all about when you're in, you're outside in, inside out, and you're down sides up, upside down, you're upside right. Yeah, don't it make you want to twist and shout when you're inside out. So the twisting is again being also twisted, and shout is the shout of the twin sister. Uh, look down your drain pie. What color do you see? It's got to be yellow. Yellow. Don't try to fool me. And don't it make you want to twist and shout when you're outside in and you're downsides up? Yeah, you're upsides right. You don't it make you want to twist and shout when you're inside out. So next slide, please. Be careful where you're walking. You might step in something rough. Be careful where you're talking and saying all that stuff. Take care when you are breathing. Something's funny in the air. So you, you see, I told you the yellow means... Uh, the air and the air element also is ruled by Saturn. Okay, mm -hmm. another cue. And some things I'm not saying about what's happening out there, it's inside out. And I think inside out also means that what's inside of us, our spiritual value is for flowing out because of our incarnation. Look into the future with your mystic crystal ball. See if it ain't yellow. See if it's there at all. Okay. So if, the, if that's not a coded song, I don't know what is. If that's not a <laughs> riddle. <laughs> so uh, people think that uh, it's impossible that these songs are coded. They are. So next uh, slide, please. That's another one of the uh, Traveling Wilbury's uh, coded songs called End of the Line. Well, it's all right, riding around in the breeze. So we have, again, like going around and round and round. So on the song on the surface, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's if you uh, just don't. Your FBI guy showed up. up. It's fun. Okay. Sorry, the cat. Uh, it was disturbing me. Uh, I know the drill. <laughs> yeah. <The> cats. Yeah. <laughs> Our cons. So on the surface, it says it's all right. Everything is all right. But what is all right is, again, the right side. You only have the right side of you, what's supposed to be right, the, the, the right side. The left side is occupied by sinister. So it's all, it's all right, riding around, against so around, round. And the breeze, the breeze is the air element again. Well, it's all right if you live the life you please. Well, it's all right doing the best you can with it's all right as long as you lend a hand. And it, it refers to lending a hand to the to the Archon, the taking our value. You can sit around and wait for the phone to ring, end of the line, waiting for someone to tell you everything, which is what I'm trying to do, <laughs> end of the line. Sit around and wonder what tomorrow will bring, will bring end of the line, maybe a diamond ring. So the diamond ring is the symbol of the alchemical marriage. Okay, so you won't get uh, the diamond ring by sitting around in the lazy boy of Billy Idol. Okay, <laughs> so you can sit around and wait for the phone to ring. So waiting for maybe the the prime sister who has given up hope. So end of the line is the end of the lifeline, obviously. It's end of everything because it's, it it's alludes at the it alludes at the final dissolution of the spiritual twin couple. Okay, sit around and wonder what tomorrow will bring. Okay, well it's all right even if they say you're wrong. What is some right? Sometimes you gotta be strong. What is all right? As long as you got somewhere to lay. Okay, then again, it's important. Well, it's all right. Every day is judgment day. So when you're laying, 
you're kind of in a comfortable position, but you're not standing up. You should be standing up for what's true, for what's quite, for what's uh, and lie. That's why also this is the same word for being on a vertical position, lying and to lie. Mm -hmm. It's lying. So every day is judgment day on us because we haven't accomplished this economical marriage of the, with the prime sister. So next one, please. Well, it's all right. Even when push comes to show, well, it's all right if you got someone to love. Uh, well, it's all right. Everything will work out fine. Well, it's all right. We're going to the end of the line. Don't have to be ashamed of the car I drive. End of the line. I'm just glad to be here. Happy to be alive. It don't matter if you're by my side. I'm satisfied. So it doesn't matter if the other part the left part, which is the prime sister that should be at his side or at his left side, is there. He's satisfied. Well, it's all right riding around in the breeze. Well, if you live the life you please, even if the sun don't shine. So that's an important one, too. The sun is the inner sun that doesn't shine here because there is a passive acceptation of the human condition. Well, it's all right We're going to the, the end of the line. So you understand that this song is a mockery, like most of these songs, about our idleness at the spiritual level. Uh, next one, please. Okay, so Madonna. And uh, this is a still from... Uh, we, we, uh, first time I was on the show, uh, we covered Madonna's mm -hmm. music video, True Blue, where I shown that she, she wears a black handkerchief wears around a black handkerchief and a song that's supposedly about love and I showed that it was about something else. She has big black earrings too because it refers to Saturn, the Lord of the Rings and all of that, okay? And here is from a movie called uh, Desperately Seeking Susan and that she plays in and uh, uh, you have uh, in the back of her s s coat uh, the whole seeing eye with the pyramid and the yeah. whole thing, uh, Novo, or the Seclorum. And uh, even the numerals are there, okay? Uh, so next slide, please. We So we see that with this symbol, we can make um, the seal, the Solomon seal and the word Mason appear. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, I should say even uh, a bit of uh, information that uh, the, the the pyramid that we see is called the Mont Royal or the Montreal, and that's why uh, Montreal is called that way. Uh -huh. uh, I live most of my life in Montreal, I can tell you, <laughs> because the suburb of Montreal, that one suburb is called Point Claire, which means a clear point. Uh -huh. Another suburb uh, is called Longueuil, which means the long high. And another one further away is called Belle. Um so the ballet is a beautiful eye. Okay, uh, so because Montreal was the is the stronghold of the Jesuits for hundreds of years. Oh wow! And uh, a lot of even the mafia and the Montreal and the Bonanno family and, and court earrings. It was said that their order came from Montreal often. The New York mafia. But I digress. <laughs> this is just a. Uh, I wanted to touch that. Uh, so next one, you have another thing uh, that can be made. Another researcher found that you can kind of draw a uh, an inverted pentagram with the letter Mason also. So which one is the true one? Are they both uh, different pieces of the puzzle? Uh, Interesting. Okay, so next one. Yeah, that's another researcher even found that with a Roman numeral, you can make the 666. Uh, we won't elaborate too much on that. But I just wanted to show that what Madonna is implicated with. Uh, and so next one. Okay, and so 30 years after she made the movie that we saw with the, the coat with the all seeing eye and everything, she makes this in 2015, I think she makes this song, Illuminati, it's not Jay-Z, and Beyonce, it's not Nikki or Lil Wayne, it's not Oprah and Obama, the Pope and Rihanna, Queen Elizabeth or Kanye. It's not pentagrams or witchcraft, it's not triangles, tax of cash, black magic or Gaga, Gucci or Prada, riding on the golden calf. 
the all-seeing eye is watching tonight. Remember her quote, okay? 30 years after that. So she was in it the whole time, okay? Not just, mm -hmm. oh. that's what it is. Truth and the light, the all-seeing eye is watching tonight. Nothing to hide, so the secrets inside. So next one, please. It's like everybody in this party shining like Illuminati. It's like, well, oh, she repeats that. It's the enlightenment that's enlightenment that started it all. The founding fathers wrote it down the wall, and now the media is misleading us all, turn and right into wrong. Behind the curtain of the new world order, it's not platinum encrypted corner. It's not ISIS or the Phoenix pyramids of Egypt. Don't make it into something sordid. It's not Steve Jobs or Bill Gates. <laughs> Well, for me, it seems that like it's all of this. It's the opposite of what you're <laughs> saying. It's not Steve Jobs or Bill Gates. It's not the Google or the United States. It's not Bieber or LeBron, Clinton or Obama, or anyone you love to hate. So that's quite something. Don't you think this song? A lot uh, of name dropping. <laughs> Sorry? A lot of name dropping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, there were eight authors to write that song, and Kenny West is one of them. Wow. So that didn't, didn't sell very well, I don't think so. She doesn't no. have the the no, sort of fame she used to on her. No, well, her late career is all about uh, promoting uh, the degeneration of morals, you know, to the youth. Uh, there's not much coding, but this one is quite staggering. Yeah, so next one, please. Okay, so we finish with that. Um, this is a uh, material girl, still from material girl. Uh, material girl is about, uh, in my view, is again about, uh, because it's the first song over on her, on her second album, Like a Virgin, that made her a uh, super, super, like, she was the biggest female pop right. star of the 80s and 90s. And uh, so material girl and the, uh, we, if you remember the, the lyric from um, from the song of Talking Heads, when he said, you know, I'm the smartest man around, that's right, you learn real fast with the smartest girls in town. So I think what we have here is the the joke of the, the whole piece is that uh, it's really a man pretending he's a woman nurturing uh, uh, nurturing woman and mother nature. And uh, so she's Madonna, you know, a Ma DNA. And Madonna is ordained, Mother Nature, you see, Madonna. So that's the joke. But uh, on the surface, it's about uh, like a tribute to uh, the film um, Gentlemen's Prefer Blonde with Marlon Monroe and uh, Jane Russell with the yeah. diamond, a, girl, a girl's best friend. So she's taking all the diamonds of the guy. But... Uh, one clue we have is exactly what I say. It is, is uh, she says, we are living in a material world and I'm a mama, mama, material girl. So she's a mama, a mother. Okay. Um, what I wanted to say with this. Also, yeah, how, how could we explain the, the, at the end, the, the back vocals of the boy saying, living in the material world they, right. they are uh, speaking robotic because we have been put into automatons you know i don't know if it's a word in english automaton yeah yeah. Yeah, automaton, in, automaton, yeah yeah automaton yeah and uh and uh, it's a big biocomputer kind of a body so we're robotic so we are uh, we are living in the material world and as she said material um uh, so I think uh, it fits very well with the other song that we, so, uh, and the video has a prelude and a postlude where Madonna is seen like, not at all like in the music video. She's simple and uh, with her normal clothing. And she said, oh, I don't, I don't really want uh, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of uh, jewels and all of that. And uh, at the end, she, a guy gives her a flower and she kisses him. So it was all to, to make that, to, to not tarnish the image of Madonna as a bohemian. So if they made the, why they then do this song if they didn't want to tarnish her image is because probably there's a subtext and a big inside joke and we're the subject of the joke as always. 
uh, I don't know what you think. Uh, I finished my presentation. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. good old Madonna. Looks she still looks so pretty there, and how she looks now. Uh, all that yeah. surgery. Still looking for it. She's still looking for attention and relevance instead of just enjoying. Well, whatever. If these people can enjoy themselves, <clears throat> she has a pile of money bigger than a than a oh, castle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she probably. Uh, well, we know she made a deal too with the commander in chief. A bargain. Oh yeah, what Dylan said. She yes, had, because it wasn't talent. <laughs> we know that. Well, how could you explain to the jacket with the the whole thing back yeah. then? You know, back and then, then. saw with the songs about that thirty years later. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. For me, it's obvious. Pyramid girl. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, no, this has been great, uh, Vance. Any questions from you or? Oh, my head is spinning. I'm going around and around on the <laughs> yeah. dance. <laughs> yeah. Sorry yeah, about no, that. No, it was great. The audience really liked it in the chat room. Oh, great. Uh, great. And they definitely had their own additions, takes, you know, educated audience that, that, that understands these topics. So they certainly did enjoy it. So yeah. one more time, uh, I'll have it on the show notes. Where can people go to find more? Because again, yeah, you know, if, people if they want, want to... a refresh of some of these songs, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once in a Lifetime, all that, you have it all up there? Yeah, it's all there. Uh, if you want to study the website, I think it's a really good idea uh, to really study it, pass a couple of hours watching the music videos, uh, or leaving this, reading the song lyrics. And uh, you make up your mind after that about what it means for you and for your life and for everything. Because I think the problem is that for something so staggering and uh, and magnitude, people will expect to receive that type of knowledge from uh, an authority, and I'm just a regular guy. So I can't. I think that's the problem with it. But uh, you have to to struggle and to try to study the website and try to make up your mind of what it means. And uh, please send me feedback. I will really much appreciate on Pop Music Decoded. There's a contact page there, popmusicdecoded.com. So you can reach me. I will answer you, no problem. As long as it's respectful, I'm, I'm open to everything. If you have another way to, to help me because I'm struggling to make this widely known, because I think that if this information because more widely known, it's going to help to get the biggest Gnostic revival that this planet has ever seen. Cool. Well, let's hope so. Yeah, definitely check out his website. Lots of interesting stuff. This is a good old fashioned or cutting edge synchro mysticism. Same stuff that other guests do uh, from Chris Knowles to Steven Snyder, all that. It's all the symbols and the Mm -hmm. And the numbers, and even like Chris said today, if you think that synchromysticism is crazy, the stock market, computers, they all deal with symbols and, uh, yeah. yeah, vibrations. They do the same stuff that we're doing, except they do it more in a, they have their own language. We're so, ruled by symbols. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is not woo-woo or anything. This is something that, again... They use, scientists use it, marketers use it, magicians use it, the elite use it. It's uh, And it's up to us to learn it so we can escape and see reality for what it is. So mm -hmm. people yeah. like Ian are, are doing a good service for humanity and for people <laughs> to wake up. Hopefully, yeah. That's my hope. Every culture has a language, right? So you got to know which culture you're in, then you can tune in with what language. Yeah, yeah. and our souls have a language which we have to learn. They yeah. The elite know it, or the establishment know it, and they manipulate it again. Manipulate it. They manipulate us by using our language against us. Sure, sure, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Well, this has been a great show. Uh, again, check out Ian's website. Please support this Gnostic venture as well. Great shows coming the rest of August and in September, which will certainly blow you away. But uh, yeah, help out. Keep Great. the lights on, share, hit the like button, throw some crypto or shekels my way, whatever you can. Truly appreciate your help, and it's great to see you here. Vance, thanks for keeping us company. Oh, it's, it was great, and I 
I'm happy to sing along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch some of these videos afterwards. <laughs> okay. Except for Material Girl, because my 11 year old went uh, through a phase, phase oh, six yeah. months ago, where she played that song nonstop oh, uh, in the car. I could hear it. Indoctrinated. <laughs> yeah, she was indoctrinated. Yes. So hopefully. Oh, last minute super chat. Yay. Yeah, thank you very much. Dissident Jones. Cool name. That could be like a superhero or some anti-hero. So thank you very much. Jones, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so great. And again, Saturday, we're having a group chat on Gnosticism, dispelling misconceptions. Some uh, great guests. But uh, in the meantime, thank you. And Ian, as always, really enjoy you coming on the show thank and you sharing much. your Gnosis. Was glad to be with you both. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, thanks, Ian. It was fascinating. Pleasure all ours, and thank you. And as I always say, yeah, write your own gospel, live your own myth, and have a good night and a good weekend if I don't talk to you. Take care, right. everybody. Hi, everybody.